No, no, you are not allowed to make a video inside, yeah? No, I've read the sign. Yeah. That says on site. Yeah, but you are almost inside. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here at John Paul Construction and this is located in Swindon in a place called Chiseldon. So we're here because we had an email from somebody to say something quite interesting seems to be going on here and it doesn't look like any old ordinary building site that's for sure so they have got security there's two people in the gatehouse look and there's a lot of literature around let's have a look what it says work safe home safe all deliveries must be scheduled make contact with supervisor competent person so it's all to do with delivering. So standards are very high. Oh, look at that one, look. Strictly no photography or social media on the site. Sorry? Sorry, mate. You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I noticed there it says strictly no photography or yes, social yes. media on the yes, site. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that, yeah. Is that sort of when you walk on, is it? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. I'll just stay outside then. What's it going to be? Yeah, I don't know. I They've thought, not told you? No, no, no. Right. All right, mate. But yeah, security looks very high inside. You don't need to make a video outside, no? I'm just going to zoom in. No, no, why? I'm why? just making a little video about the no, place mate, to find no, out mate. what it is. No, no way, mate. You can't do this, mate. You can't do it. You see, there's a notice here. Not, yeah. No social media on the side, that's it. On the site? Yeah. I'm not, not staying outside, yeah. I'm not on the site. So no just need actually, no need. For what? I'm Wait gonna zoom in, I'm just gonna zoom in no, on no, all no, the new areas. No, 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 mate, no. Don't do this. It's okay mate, you, you just need to secure inside, that's all. Yeah. Don't worry about me. So yeah, right down the back, looks like they've got uh, quite a few layers of security down there. Extra gatehouse as well to the left. Why are you making videos inside? Why? I just told Who you. Who you are? I just told you. I'm just a member of the public. No, no. You are not allowed to make a video inside, yeah? No, I've read the sign. Yeah. That says on site. Yeah. But you are almost inside. Yeah, almost. Yeah, almost. Yeah, you see these gates, these barriers, these, this is, you are almost in. Don't make a video here. Yeah, but the sign doesn't say no, no photography almost on site, does it? No, no, why are you making argue right in the morning? It's please. okay, honestly, it's mate. Right. Yeah, yeah, you go over there, please. Make a video outside there. Don't I am outside. Video. Yeah, yeah. I am outside, my friend. Is that John Paul construction, is it? The staff just leaving. Careful. Go, mate. Go, go outside. Go. Don't worry about it, my friend. Go, Just mate. ignore me. See, they've got another sign over there saying social media. I'm just looking at the sign there. It says it's the same as this one, isn't it? The signs are quite good here, to be fair. It's like health and safety is very important here because I'm covering a bit of a story. No, I'm begging you, go down there, do your work, make a video outside. You are not allowed to come inside. You are not allowed to make any video inside. I agree no. with you. I agree. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. My friend, just so you know, I'm not coming in, okay? So, I mean, this is where pedestrians would normally go in and it's clearly locked. So pedestrian access is restricted. The gate was open, you know, vehicles come in and out all day long and there is a barrier there. Now, the barrier does only stretch to three quarters of the road, so vehicles could potentially drive around the barrier. But uh, yeah, nobody's gonna wanna go in through just, just sort of a, a construction entrance to then get 
to the main entrance over there where it's clearly very, very high security. Do you know when the place is up and running? Go, mate, go, go over there. You are not allowed to go here. I'm outside, no, my yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah, go outside, mate. I am outside. Let me come here. Are you thinking that I'm not outside or something? Come here, mate. Come, come here. Well, okay, let's just let's just understand. Where do you want me to stand? Where would you like me to stand while I do it? Just here? On the tarmac here? Is this okay just here? I just want to work with you, my friend, while I do it, that's all. So are you happy with just here, yeah? So, of course, this gate defines the area where they don't want people to go past so me just standing up against the the fence reading the signs that's reasonable in my opinion but if he wants to stipulate a place where i can stand i mean it's not very good at closing his gate lock the wind's just blowing it open i don't think this gate is normally closed and this is just for me being here but if he wants to stipulate a place where i can stand maybe just here where it turns into tarmac and look, we even have a bridal way sign there saying to Swindon. So there's no way they can ever claim that this bit of land is theirs. So while standing outside, I've just found an article online. It reads, Amazon likely behind the 27 megawatt data center proposed at abandoned HP site near Swindon. HP closed two data centers at Burderop in July 2020. A single replacement facility is now proposed. So the proposal would demolish the two data centers, which have stood since the 1990s, and construct one facility with four data halls, beginning in late 2021. And it has got uh, an image of one of the redundant HP data centers. And it's pulled from Secret Bases website. And it's got a picture there of the proposed new facility. So as we look to the left, we have this Swindon bridal way, and we also have a bit of a gap here behind the fence. So let's have a little wander through there and see where it takes us. So this then takes you behind the fence to where they don't want you to be. So clearly not on his land now, look. But we're getting closer into the site. This ain't... Is this your site here, what I'm on? What are you doing here? Is this your site? Am I on your site, my friend? Yeah, that's okay. I'm just getting some images of the site. Should we talk out on, on the road? I can't hear you very well. Oh, you're not ready? Are you ready to talk? Because I haven't got all day, you see. I've got to get... My friend, I'm here to make a video. Would you like to hear or not? No, because I'm making the video. And um, Just so you know, I have come to try and engage with yourself. Yeah. So if you don't wish to talk, James... I can talk to you. Okay, let's talk. No, because James, if you say to the police that I've said something, I need this evidence to prove I haven't. I'm not going to say anything, mate. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to tell you, James, but the camera must stay on. So we either talk or we don't. Because the camera is my protection. Because very often people call the police, and the police, sorry, against your lies. No, not James. Let's not get off on the wrong foot. No, there's no bearing with you, James. I'm going to carry on. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, James. So we're not here to mess about. We're not uh, being dictated to about do this, do that. We're here to get as much footage as we can. So let's carry on. So we're a little bit further on now. And you can see the side of the data center over there. A vehicle. Not much. Let's carry on looking. That's a good sign. Private property, keep out. So keep out from past that fence line and that sign is put there for people like me having an adventure to read and down here we've just got more fences 
Got a little substation over there. Some sort of tarmac road over in that distance. But it looks uh, quite completed. Be very interesting to see what this looks like from above, that's for sure. <laughs> We've not even mentioned that yet, have we? So there's not much more to see from down there, so I don't think I'll bother walking any further. Let's get back and get David up, I think. Right then, so we have got a, uh, a crowd of people now, four people down there that are just standing. They obviously don't want to talk to us, so let's proceed. Let's get David out and see what this place looks like from above. Right then, so we have got a, uh, a crowd of people now, four people down there that are just standing. They obviously don't want to talk to us, so let's proceed. Let's get David out and see what this place looks like from above. Are you wanting to talk now? Hey? Are you wanting to talk now? It's not a case of wanting to talk, mate. This is a construction site, and this is a restricted area. You can't fly that over here. A minute ago, I tried to engage with James to let him know what I was here for. So, what are you here for? Who Your name's Keith, here? right? That's correct. Are you more senior than James? Well, yeah, no, just you did not engage else. with me because I said I'd engage with you. Turned your camera off. Yeah, the camera's you, still on. You so refused to turn the camera the off. The camera's still on. Okay. So, what's so your business? Would, would you like to talk on camera, Keith? I've got no reason. To, I want to know what your business is. Yeah, that's Tell better, me what your business is. Right. So, what I'm here to do? Yes. I'm here to make a video for my YouTube channel about a new development that one of my viewers have said is happening here. Yep. Something big is happening, yep. but it's very, very secretive. Cool. So I'm sort of like an investigator and I try and reveal and find out more for the viewers. Okay. I know you're not going to like it, but there's nothing you can do about it. If that comes over onto our property, we yep. will be contacting the police. That's fine, you can do that. What the police will tell you is mm. that there is no flight restrictions in this area. It's not near a prison and it's not near an airport. Right. And if you want me to, I can show you the app which confirms there is no flight restriction here. So I know you really want to keep client confidentiality and yes. I understand it, I get it all the time. Yep. You cannot stop what I'm about to do. Well, okay? We'll have to see about Thanks for your time, gentlemen. So, Keith has now been told in the most polite way possible that there is nothing he can do about us going over. 
when they call the police, the police will just educate them, I hope. <laughs> or they may attend, and then they get educated. So, they really don't want us to fly over. They really don't want us to see. They are now, some of them are now going back, maybe to hide something. So, let's get over. As shown on the screen, there are no flight restrictions in this area. So, this new suspected data center for a very, very large customer, Amazon. Let's go and see what it looks like from above. So we'll start off with um, a wide shot of the site to show you the access road. You see it's, uh, you've got a bend in the road and then you just turn in there. Security are based just in that hut to the right, but the main security is down here. So you will drive in and you will be met with this sort of center here where you can clearly see there's a vehicle lock you've got gate number one and gate number two with big barriers in the ground all the way around it so there's no chance of ramming your way through to the right is just the construction compound where they keep all their own vehicles and all the materials and stuff. And then you get down to the main data center. No vehicles are allowed past this final gate. As you can see, a further gate there, which is open at the moment with barbed wire on it. And then this is the all singing, all dancing, modern data center. We even got a refueling area there. We've got one of those flood basins at the back. A one-way system around the data center. But it does look quite pretty, the paneling that they've used. And we've got lots of these spikes on the roof. A double layered fence around the perimeter lot with barbed wire on the inner. And if you did try and get through the wrong entrance, you'll be met with that rising roadblock. Workmen down there. I'm not sure what they're doing. Possibly looking at the, uh, the insecure fence. And even more of them now gathered up near security. I think one of them is actually approaching in my direction. Hello, mate. Hi. How are you? My name's Al. I just ask why you're sort of flying over the side. Any Hiya. Can I ask why your colleagues filming me? Well, because you're filming us, right? That's okay. a good prize, isn't it? Could I just ask if you are an organisation that's um, regulated by GDPR? So your cameras or anything like that, you're not regulated by GDPR? Don't have to ask, answer any questions. Fine. I'll reply so with the same. Okay, that's fine. You, any particular interest in what you're doing? If you'd like to answer the question about GDPR, then I'll give you an answer to my question. No. So as a company, do you represent John Paul? 
So who are you? Why are you asking me a question? I'm asking you what you're doing. In the capacity of what? That's it. As an interested party. That's okay. it. Okay. I, I, I don't wish to talk to interested parties, but if somebody from John, John Paul Construction wishes to communicate, then yeah. I am willing to tell you a bit more. Okay. And um, I also am expected to for you to comply with GDPR. That means if you take images of me, mm -hmm. I just like a copy of them. That's all. So if you can. Just tell... I'd have to know who you are, wouldn't I? No, you just give me a contact email address. I send you an email to request a copy and you send them to me. Simple as that. I haven't got an email address for you. Okay, in that case, I'll leave you alone. That's fine. Uh, just to let you know, no one's going to be coming out to speak to you. Thank you. So, if they don't want to play ball with GDPR, then it's my assumption that they will be unreasonable in any other conversation. So we ain't here to mess about. He said he doesn't even represent John Paul Construction. I mean, wow, come on. Who are you then, the cleaner? So yeah, we've seen exactly what they're trying to hide. Obviously, you're not gonna see inside it, but you can certainly see the scale. And we can see unusual things like these two guys here installing what seems to be some sort of antenna. And there's lots and lots of these antennas with safe walkways that you can see they're marked out. So that'll do. We've seen the extreme security on the fences. We've seen how secretive they wish to be. So let's get David back and continue this video. We're not wrapping up just yet, we're continuing it. Lots of generators down here for when the power gets interrupted, they will kick in. So reading more from the website, it says the application plans to demolish the existing data centers and consolidate them into one building described as a national data center. So imagine that the national data center for Amazon is going to be that building there that we just took the drone over. And that's how important it is. So they've gone for months and months whilst they have been constructing this project with having very, very little interest. And then somebody comes we, first of all, we stand there and we get told, no, you're not allowed. We then have a little wander around the bushes and we get told we want to chat. But then he doesn't want to chat on the camera. Then we get the drone out and they all go crazy. I'm sure the police have been called. And he says, OK, if you don't think we can stop you, let's see about that. And then the gentleman ca came over and didn't want to tell me who he was, but he wanted his colleague to film the conversation. I'm sorry, mate. But if we could work together, then that's great. But you're not in charge of the members of the public outside showing an interest in something which is so important. You know, we all use Amazon. We all want to know where the national data center is. And now we know it's here in the middle of nowhere. Oh, we didn't do the 360-degree um, the photo, did we? So, if the police do come, let's get the drone back up to do the 360-degree photo. So, we still have one of the gentlemen standing there. So, let's have one final look around on the outside to see if they give any clues away themselves. We've got what looks to be an old planning notice on the floor here. So, let's just get that into better light. And that says, well, it's a bit worn. Plants Room, Bramble Hill, Swindon Council, but not really revealing anything on that. Let's just pop that under the cone so it doesn't blow away for the moment. See if there's anything else in the bushes, any paperwork or... We've got this here. Let's get that in better light, see what this is.
this says BT Magna Park BT Procurement so that doesn't really give any information out at all either so whilst outside looking for clues this is all the litter that we found we had that little delivery note there that says BT the planning application which doesn't really say much a bottle of water which looks like it's got we in it an old roller for the paint that color paint there is a clear match to this green here so it's obviously theirs and then someone's old jacket and a metal sign which has been worn out most of it was dumped behind here clearly out on the public you know you've got a public bridal way just there so literally opposite it you know any sort of litter like this needs to be collected kept inside your boundary if possible Hi. I'm doing something from John Paul Keith. Yeah, you're here for the uh, the data centre? Yes, I am, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know who occupies it, don't you? Hey, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's John Paul, the general contractor, yeah. AWS. The, um, who's, go who's going to occupy it? AWS. Yeah, there you go, my friend. Is that right? There you go. Thanks, mate. AWS. <laughs> that is the, uh, the short code for the Amazon data. Amazon Web Services. It stands for? So even on their own website, johnpaul.ie, mentions that they're involved in an extensive data center site works on 28 acres, including bulk earthworks for a 16,000 meter square data hall and electrical building, circa 60,000 meters cubed also including car parking a new site access road internal roadways sprinkler tank pump house water and fuel tanks and that uh, reinforces that fuel tank sign that we saw on the road there i'm about finished now the only thing i need to say before i go is this rubbish here would you like me to take it away or would you like to dispose of it yourself? No, I'll take care of that, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, have the police been called? If they have, I will wait. No. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank have you. a nice day. And that's it. So they've taken responsibility of the rubbish there, which is great to hear. And uh, other than the gentleman that told us AWS, which is Amazon Web Services. So it's a basically a large data center for cloud operations. It's going to be the national data center. So the biggest one in the UK is very, very important to Amazon. The security, although they tried to stop you from filming from the public areas, there wasn't too bad, was they? And apart from not wanting to be on camera, the rest haven't really flipped. They've all remained professional and they've just confirmed there that the police have not been called. So, you know, if you see something interesting like this and you want to find out more, just go for it. Go and find out more, take your drone up, take some photography and just sort of share, share what you found. Because I'm certainly interested in these data centres. You know, the amount of electricity that they take from the national grid, but they also have their own backup generators and their own fuel tank underground that we saw there. So they, they are not 100% reliant on the national grid. So there we go, it's the future. You'll see more and more data centers popping up. So if you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one guys. Bye bye for now.